Here's video of I-40 in North Carolina. You can see how wet uh, things, of course, are and still will be over the next several days, all thanks to that of Hurricane Florence. But this is I-40, which uh, looks more like a river. And again, uh, just a tremendous amount of rain that fell from the sky over that last several-day time period. We're talking as much as two to nearly three feet. Uh, Elizabethtown, the uh, highest tally that we can find, 35.93 inches. Even in Wilmington, 26.58 inches. Uh, some communities are actually cut off because there just is no way to get to those areas. Uh, most of the roads are flooded out. So there's an estimated 7.8 trillion gallons of water that fell across these particular areas. Again, some of the heaviest right into North Carolina and along the coast. And as you get farther inland, even the eastern portions of South Carolina getting in on a lot of that rain. Now we're just dealing with the remnants of Florence, but it still is a waterlogged storm system. We have flood warnings down into uh, North and South Carolina. Rivers will remain uh, very high over the next several days there. Uh, flood watches posted from near D.C. to Boston. So these particular areas still dealing with some of that heavy rainfall. And we could be seeing as much as uh, two to three inches yet through the uh, next, uh, say, 24 hours or so before things kind of wind down. You can see that overnight tonight, the last of the remnant moisture from Florence begins to shift east, and it will be drier within these particular areas. So other than the remnants of Florence, things look much quieter in the Atlantic Basin for now, which is good news. We'll take you out west. Critical fire weather conditions today. Red flag warnings. Uh, that does include Salt Lake. We do have a marginal threat of severe weather today in the Midwest from Sioux Falls down to Des Moines, Iowa. Another marginal threat on Wednesday, but a slight risk moving in on Thursday from Iowa all the way up to the UP of Michigan and very heavy rain through the end of the week. We could be looking at two to five inches of rain in spots through the Midwest where we don't necessarily need any more rain.